Hey, I just wanted to go over really briefly some of the differences that you're gonna find between a dry tool hold and then your normal climbing hold. And it really comes down to both the formulation, the plastic that we're using in a dry tool hold, as opposed to a climbing hold, and then also design. And when it comes to design, a lot of times what we're looking for is we wanna find holds where the placement uh, is designed for the pick. Uh, we want a lot of plastic because uh, with dry tooling, the holds you know, essentially wear in as you're using them a lot, the plastic is wearing out. And so we want you know, big gaps of plastic between the bolt hole and where the pick placement might be, you know, just as far as the safety and the integrity of the hold. Uh, we also want to design holds that uh, if you're using them, the ax heads aren't smashing the climbing wall. And so a lot of the features are gonna be, you know, up off of the wall so that your pick placement isn't gonna come in and damage the, the climbing wall itself. And then when it comes to the formulation is uh, we're mixing in an aggregate specifically designed for dry tooling. And that's because the metal pick, if it's placed in a normal uh, polyurethane climbing hold mix, is really, it's gonna really dig in because of the softness of the climbing hold. Um, and so we're really increasing the durometer and then the strength of this is for this application, it's gonna simulate, you know, maybe dry tooling outside on real rock, and that's what we're trying to get close to, both from the durability and then the feel perspective on that. And so that's just a really quick overview of kind of those differences between a standard climbing hold and then a dry tool specific climbing hold. If you have more questions, hit us up at escapeclimbing.com and you can check out the full dry tool offering there.